Hey everyone, welcome back on the channel. Welcome back to another FFSR 3.1.4 from Generation video. The last cracked game of the MW series is here. Uh, Modern Warfare 1. Uh, previously I posted MW2 and uh, COD Vanguard and now I'm back with MW1. So yeah, let's just start this video now. Alright, uh, now this mod uh, is a beta version of OptiScaler. So if you have tried some other version of OptiScaler and have failed, you will need this particular zip along with uh, this file. So yeah, download the uh, zip from the description, then uh, copy all these files and go to the installation directory of COD MW1 uh, for me, uh, which is here, COD MW. Uh, after opening the directory where the Modern Warfare Launcher.exe is located. I'm gonna paste the mod here. In this mod, you will need the OptiScaler setup and OptiScaler INIE tweak because uh, I have tried the Vanguard mod that was not working. So first, you will need to run the OptiScaler setup.bat. Uh, select the DXGI, press one and press enter. After that, uh, select. Uh, okay, this is telling me to replace the file. I will replace it because I have already installed the mod and forgot to remove. So I'm pressing Y here and after that choose your GPU uh, AMD Intel for one Nvidia for two. So press two and enter mod will be installed uh, same as usual. Go to optiscalar.ini open it with any kind of uh, notepad or text editor. Uh, uh, go to the FG type select it as OptiFG. Now if you have an AMD GPU or uh, Intel GPU you might need this NV API. So what you need to do is uh, extract the NV API and uh, the dll you get inside you need to drag it to the same folder where we install the mod if you cannot see the uh, dlss and once again you need to turn on the hacks so go to your uh, search menu or run menu type in uh, graphics go to graphics setting and make sure this hags hardware accelerated gpu scheduling is turned on if it's not on then turn it on and restart your computer and then you will be able to see the DLSS in game. So now I'll dive back into the game and I'll show you how much FPS we're getting with this mod. Get Elden Ring Night Rain at just 199 rupees and top PC hardware starting at cheap prices. Details are on your screen. Okay, uh, I am inside the game. This is the clean house mission. Wait for the cinematic to end. Now this is the gameplay without the mod or the like frame generation activated. Uh, you can see I will activate the opti overlay also. I don't know if the NVIDIA overlay is being visible or not because it sometimes gets bugged. And yeah, you can see the FPS is hovering around 70-75. So what I will do now, go to option, then graphics tab and scroll down here. You will see DLSS, so turn that on set it to quality balance whichever you like i'm setting it to quality i have activated uh, dlss4 i mean i have pasted the dll and uh, made it as dll dlss4 you can also use the xcss i will show that in a second so after selecting the dlss press ins slash insert on your keyboard and this menu will open up click on fg active and fg hood fix and you will see frame generation is working along with the hood fix you can check hood is totally stable fps has also boosted to 123 120 to 130 uh, i'll show you the debug view now so press ins again and set the debug view right now there is not much hood uh, there you can check the hood is back and you can check the right bottom one or this one is uh, with the hood and the center bottom one is without the hood the sharpness also uh, same uh, you will uh, still need to match the sharpness of the game if you want to check the debug view uh, i mean the both these both two tiles sharpness should be the same or your hood fix will not be working uh, you can check that uh, by yourself when you paste the mod so i'll disable the uh, debug view now and play the game for a bit uh, you can also change to like uh, xcss 2.0.1 i have compiled that with the mod wait one second it might get crash i don't know uh, but yeah it's still there okay i think xcss is having issue uh, i think don't think it's shader have been compiled or something but yeah the upscaler is uh, being used in the game you can also try fsr 3.1.4 or the custom versions of the fsrs 
this is fsr 3.1.4 which is uh, still decent i have to say not as good as the dlss but yeah it's doing okay activate the night vision goggles and there you go okay so i guess this will be it for this video now if this helps you consider subscribing to the channel if you are facing issue uh, comment down below or join discord and uh, yeah i'll see you guys in the next one so until then cheers now